on behalf of America's Best Racing, I'm Joe Christofek, and on this edition of Post Time, we're going the distance. A variety of distances and surfaces make horse race handicapping that much more challenging. Let's start with the basics. There are three types of racing surfaces. There's dirt, there's turf, there are synthetic surfaces as well. Now, the majority of races run in the United States are run on dirt. Track conditions are determined by the amount of moisture in the racetrack, and there are indicators in your past performance lines in the program. Fast is perfectly dry. Good has a little bit of moisture in it. Muddy is more of a sticky, wet racetrack. Sloppy is very wet, often puddle-like and splashy. Wet fast is a track that is wet, but packed down and sealed, so it remains on the fast side. Now, when fast, most dirt surfaces are going to cater to horses who have some early speed. But on any surface, pace makes the race. So you have to remember, the faster they go early in the race, the better chance the horses have to close and come from behind because the fractions are faster and the leaders are going to get tired more readily. If the early fractions are slow, Horses near the front of the pack gain a tactical advantage because they have more left in the tank for the stretch run. Now on turf, we have different conditions as well. Firm is perfectly dry. Good has a little bit of moisture in it, yielding an extra degree of moisture. And soft is boggy, wet, uh, a turf course that Basically, they can barely run on because if the turf course gets too wet, the races are taken off the turf and moved on to the main track. And in those such circumstances, often we have a lot of scratches, particularly if the racetrack has a dirt surface, if they have a synthetic racing surface, because turf horses often race well in synthetics, there won't be as many scratches if the races are taken off the grass and moved on to the main track. Now, because of a special drainage system and the composition of the man-made surface itself, synthetic racetracks are always fast. The water basically drains right through it, so that's one of the advantages of having a synthetic racetrack. Now, there are eight furlongs in a mile, so therefore, a six furlong race is three quarters of a mile. The circumference of most main tracks is either eight or nine furlongs, but there are six furlong bull rings that have much tighter turns, and on the opposite end of the spectrum, there's the massiveness of Belmont Park, which is a rare 12 furlongs once around. Now, having a solid handle on what a horse does best, both surface and distance, can put us on a lot more winners. Is that horse a six furlong dirt sprinter or maybe a mile and a half turf marathoner? There is a big difference. There are three ways to find out. Let's start first with pedigree. What is a horse bred to do? The best way to find out is to research the family, the dad, the mom, the brothers, the sisters. Where did they have their success? Sprint, route, maybe turf. Pedigree can often point us in the right direction, but I used to be one heck of a baseball player in my day, and my brother is a brick wall in the hockey net. I can barely skate. You get the picture. Point number two, the physical build. As discussed in our presentation on physicality, horses are just like humans and cars. They have different body types. In sprint races, look for the horses who are built like a Mustang, compact, big chest, big butt, lots of power. In the route races, look for horses who are more athletic. They're built like a Ferrari, sleek and long, and they can uh, definitely show more stamina with that sort of physical build. Horses who race well on turf, well, they have the big paddle-type feet. It helps them get over the ground a lot better. And synthetics horses, for whatever reason, seem to have a very narrow build to them. Now, in the end, point number three, it all comes down to the past performances. Horses have to prove what they do best. And one of the many jobs as a trainer is to find out what the horses do best and maximize that ability, both distance and surface. Now, how a horse trains in the morning will often clue a trainer into potential distance limitations. If they're getting tired and longer gallops or they work five or six furlongs and are getting a little bit winded at the end, maybe that horse is going to be a sprinter and probably won't do well over longer distances. Now, based on pedigree, talent, and stamina, trainers often plot out a course in the early stages of a horse's career with an eventual goal in mind, but in the end, 
the horse has to prove what they do best, and over several starts they will eventually do just that. Now the bottom line is, once they prove what they're good at, they have to be placed in races where they can be competitive. It all comes down to the competition they are facing race by race. The competition, the distance, the surface. Are they at the right level? Are they on the right surface? Are they racing at the right distance? And are they in form? If you can say yes to all of those questions, chances are you have a winning horse on your hands. Remember, with knowledge comes horsepower. Live it, love it, play it, share it, bet on it at AmericasBestRacing.net.